got a couple of new RC cars here, and in this video, we're going to have a look at this one. And this is the Axial Rift, which is a radio-controlled rock bouncer. And in this video, we're going to unbox it and give it a rip to see what it's all about. Subscribe! Oh, sapo! Man, these tyres feel like they're going to have some grip! So a normal rock crawler is designed to go and crawl over rocks slowly and controlled. Whilst with rock bouncers, it's all about maximum power and hitting obstacles, full speed and bouncing yourself up to the top of the hill. Much more fun! So we've got front and rear, solid axles, four-link suspension, coilover shocks, we've got open diffs front and rear. I may well in future lock them up to see how it goes. What else we got? Brushless motor and ESC that can go up to 4S LiPos, 4 wheel drive. But I'm not going to bore you with all the techno babble, so I'm just going to put a link down below where you can buy it from and where you can get all the specifications from. So to get inside of it, we've got a couple of body clips up here and the battery sits in here. And down there we can see the motor hiding and the ESC sits up top in here. So to start off with, we're going to run it on a 3 cell LiPo and then later on we're going to try it on a 4 cell. Now I'm going to put a link down below to some suitable batteries and also the charger that I use. And next we got to find a power switch which is there. Oh, what? No, not working. I think we have to get inside it, find the receiver, and rebind it. Oh, check this out, guys. It's got little brake discs. So I'm not really sure how to get inside of it, but I'm guessing it's these screws here. Receiver, where are you? I think it's in there. Hey, we're in there. Down the road, I think I want to make this rear wheel steering. So, I'm going to need to bind it to a different radio anyway, so I may as well bind it to this radio now. This has got multiple different model memories, so I can bind it to loads of different cars, and I've got a phone mount on here so I can film and drive at the same time. So I've just made a new model memory. Next, we've got to bind it, and there is actually a special binding procedure. If you don't bind it properly, it's not going to drive properly. So if you're going to rebind it, make sure you read the instructions. <laughs> Boom! Yes! So steering... Eh, it's a bit lazy. Maybe it'll be alright when we're driving it. And power... Oh! -ho! Guys! <laughs> For this type of rig, that is gonna go! Ha ha ha! Tumble Wumble! Man, that is lively! Can we make it down the staircase of doom? Oh, 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 oh! Let's try again. Oh, 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 oh! Can we get back up? Oh, it might be a rock bouncer, but it's not a stair bouncer. Oh, so this thing is definitely geared a lot more like a basher. It's not as good for crawling, but it's definitely a lot better for bouncing. But well, let's see how it crawls anyway. Yeah, it's straight over. And rock bouncer style. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready for the death wall? Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. 
Oh no, that landed straight on the drive shaft. It's game over, guys. Broke it clean in half. I was going to take it out and run it on 4S in this video. We're going to do all that lot in a future video. So make sure you subscribe and smash the bell so that you don't miss it. <laughs>